Okay, today we're going to talk about winter must-haves, things that I deem necessary for the winter months to stay warm, especially when you're working outside. If you've never seen our channel before, please subscribe if you like this video. Also like this video. And if I don't mention something that you think is a winter must-have, please leave that in the comments below. So I'm going to kind of go through kind of the different areas of places of that I think you need to be pretty um, cognizant of, of how to layer. Um, I think the biggest thing in the winter is learning how to layer well. And so the first is your footwear. This is a very overlooked thing, but for me, if I'm going to be sitting a lot, so if I'm going to be riding something where my toes aren't moving, I'm actually going to use less sock than normal. That way um, my toes can move inside there. If they get cold and they're insulated, they just keep getting colder. Um, so if I'm, if I'm uh, moving a lot, I might wear a bigger sock. So that's wool socks if it's a bigger sock or a double sock. And if not, a cotton sock. You'll find that cotton and wool, those natural materials are going to be way way warmer. So that's that's that. The next is long underwear. Personally, most of the time, I do not wear some type of undershirt or, or long underwear on the top. I will on my legs and you can use anything you want. Um, some people, you know, use Under Armour brand stuff that's real, you know, thin fitting to the body. Totally up to you for the most part in the winter. I mean, honestly, I don't wear that, but certainly something to think about. The next is sweatshirts. Now I wear a lot of, I call them middies or I don't know what they're really called, but you know, no hooded um, sweatshirts and you can use basically any variety. I've had really good luck just in the build and the quality of Carhartt. Totally choose whatever you want to. Some things you can do there. Sometimes they do get too warm. So I like to cut the top of mine so that at least some degree that can breathe if it needs to. Um, and then I kind of, we're just going to kind of go how I would layer on top of that. So I've got my normal pants on, my whatever sock of choice I'm, I have that day depending on what I'm doing. And then I'm going to have an overcoat. So when it comes to doing stuff outside, working horses, whatever, you can't really be, you know, a big uh, marshmallow just covered in clothing. So you kind of have to have layers. So uh, Carhartt makes a great, what I call an overcoat. It's just a canvas coat with a lining inside of it. Now I have multiple different varieties of this. I have other brands. Um, Land's End makes a really good one. Um, you basically got to decide how much insulation you want. So this one um, is kind of like a flannel inside. I've seen fleece insided ones or uh, lined ones, whatever works great for you. So that's how, kind of how you layer that. Then um, if you want to add even more insulation with it still having good mobility, wool vests, vests of any variety, a down vest even would be great. Wool is awesome, especially if you can get it in that thinner material. That way you can layer up. It won't be too bulky, but it certainly gives you a lot of warmth. This is a Filson one. Woolrich makes good ones. Pendleton, all those different really good manufacturers. Then I'm going to go up to the neck. So this is kind of something that I differ in from a lot of people. If I'm going to be outside riding and doing something, I actually might use both, but a lot of times I'll actually use a buff and you can use any brand of these. The reason for that is not only can I stack it on my neck, but if it's windy, mostly cold, and I'm going to be wearing a cowboy hat, even maybe these other hats, I'm going to use that for ear warmth, even face warmth. You can do that in a silk scarf. It's just, it takes, you know, tying another knot or adjusting. This is really nice when you just have one hand to do, to do that. So a buff, I, I wear them just about every day. And then of course the silk scarf, if you've not seen our videos about silk scarves, how to wear them, different knots, we'll probably um, either put a link to that video in the comments or maybe in this video as well. And then I'm going to go all the way to the top. So you see what I'm wearing here, which is traditional to wear a felt hat in the winter months. If you live somewhere where it's really windy or it's snowing really hard, it's kind of not practical to wear a cowboy hat. So that's where you have different varieties of winter caps. Now, this is a common one that everyone, you know, you see there's different manufacturers that make the same idea. This is a Stormy Cromer. Now, this is a, a wool cap that is insulated and some of them are lined and they're even warmer. The only knock I have on Stormy Cromer is if you don't get one with like the rancher build, this will not cover your ears sufficiently. So if you get one of these, it's, I wouldn't call it a style piece, but it's definitely not an all day, keep you warm in a blizzard. I would, you know, go more for something like this. Carhartt makes one of these, um, where when you fold that ear flap down, it's covering everything. Stormy Cromer makes a really good rancher variety of one of these. I, I've worn them before. They're really great. Same idea comes really low. So just kind of be cognizant of that. If you're going to go buy one of these for the first time, what are you going to use it for? And then here's just the same idea, but a different coating. Now this is a canvas cap, not a wool cap, and it is waxed. So it's going to be pretty moisture resistant and it's, you know, down lined. So this thing is really warm, does a really good job. 
once again, not necessarily a must have, must have, but if you live somewhere where it's really cold, that will help you out a lot. And then lastly, the last must have is what are you going to wear on your hands? Okay. For me, at a minimum, I'm going to wear these cotton gloves. Now, these are not 100% cotton. I think that's like 80% cotton, but that's what I'm going to have as a minimum. I can then put mittens on. If I'm doing something where my hands, I don't need my fingers, that's going to be a ton of insulation. I could just wear these and you know get away with a lot. You can put these inside leather gloves. They're basically a good lining. I don't go anywhere without cotton gloves in the wintertime. So that's kind of the winter must-haves that I have. We did not talk about footwear. I think that's totally dependent on what you're doing. I mean, a lot of people are going to wear cowboy boots. You might be wearing muck boots. We'll probably make a video about which ones to wear when and why and how, but those are my must-have winter um, pieces of clothing. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.